Well, Garrett and I were lucky enough to draw out together um, on a limited entry archery elk hunt here in southern Utah. And right now it's early July and Tad and I have come up here to start the season scouting. So we are hiking in, uh, packing in some trail cameras to some, some sweet spots. So we're excited. We're going to give it a couple weeks and come back in here and check it out. But right now we got to get down to the bull zone, set up some cameras, and hopefully we can get some monsters on camera that we've been watching and picking up sheds to the last couple years. It's a whole different ball game when you're trying to find them in the summer range where you've never really been, so we're trying to get a head start on the season and get out some cameras. But uh, it's having a good time. Boulder Mountain Archery Elk 2013 season. Uh, well, I'm back to the mountain two and a half weeks later came here to check my trail cameras and uh, set up some more so I just got my Camp set up packing real light because I'm gonna be moving around a lot uh, just a tarp to Help keep some of the rain off me anyways water cooler, cooler full of food and a cooking station right here a little barbecue um, And the beast a Honda 110 19 84 three wheeler. Good as new. Got that thing when I was like 10 years old and it's still toting me around the hills. Got some wear and tear on her. That's from pulling too many friends in the snow. Well, I'm all packed up. It's still raining. Got a little worse. Uh, everything's getting a little wet, but like I said, didn't come here to sit in the truck. Three wheeler still starts. First pull. Gonna go set some cameras. Let's go. Little bumpy on this old bad boy. No suspension on this sucker. Oh, cattle guard. check see what we got uh, a bunch of pictures of this little guy and we're halfway through the SD card already whoa whoa what the heck that's what we're looking for right there check that out five point on his left and a giant six on his right but holy cow look at his right his right antler is huge look at those ones Six point frame on his right with a sign of kind of some webbed out stuff going on. Sweet bull. He's a five by six frame with some super mass on his back end right there. Got him. Uh, one of the, the big bulls we trail cam early this year showed back up on the 13th of August. 
right back here on the same camera. And uh, about a mile away this morning, this morning, he shows up on another camera about a mile away up Canyon. Our buddy Jared cam this bull last year on August 25th, hard horned in the same same area that we filmed him or cammed him yeah. today. Yeah, this morning, like uh, just at like 10 after six this morning. So we're finally getting pumped, getting so much excitement and uh, really anticipating tomorrow. Also on the camera was a couple nice six points and yeah. a couple shooters probably. Yeah. But for now, we're gonna try to keep on the fire bowl and put them down, whether it's tomorrow or next month. Well, it's uh, it's opening day of the hunt. Uh, Garrett and I are just getting packed up. We got about a 30 to 40 minute hike down here to our blind. So we're excited. This uh, turned out to be one of the better spots, so we're going in together. Uh, that's what we waited for all year. Let's go do it, man. Got uh, two or three shooter bulls coming in here. Uh, the one bull's probably our number one bull. sit in the same blind that I've sat the whole hunt so far. This is the last area we saw the bull we named the fire bull, which is currently my number one. You know, he's the one I want. So I'm just gonna keep hunting as if he's in here. With uh, things changing so much, you never know. They're rubbing the velvet off and this is a tough hunt, but you gotta try. So a lot of people say I'm wasting my time this week, but I think if you're at home, you're wasting time been waiting 10 years for this so I'm gonna give it everything I got just got to get down here and be patient him dude drilled him dude go down Shh, go down go down relax dude let him go down let him go down Find this bull. I can't thank you enough. Kobe came down. I 
I should have come. I should have came later in the broadcast. Dude, you never know. Now look at this. Now look. Yes. Talk about a rush, man. Two spikes came in. I was joking with Kobe. Where's your spike tag? And then my eyes went up. I saw the rack. I saw the extras off the fourth on the left side. And I knew it was fireball. I knew it. He's coming in. We just need to let him lay and maybe find him tomorrow. That arrow sunk in not very far. He was, you know, turned away from us a little bit, so we're hoping it got through that soft stuff and, and got into something good. But it is not looking good. I'm not feeling good right now. This is this is archery hunting. The highest of highs and the lowest of lows, but that's hunting. We're gonna come back tomorrow. Uh, with Garrett, he's got a tag. We're just gonna try to play it smart tomorrow and get on this track and all we can do is hope for the best tonight man it's gonna be a sleepless night though man this is unreal couldn't have asked for a better situation and I shot and he buckled and it's almost like he moved that shoulder blade back and just slammed it so I'm sick right now this is not good sick, look at this dude. Garrett this went in solo look at that bull is that not one of the just a gorgeous bull. Got a glare from the light. But that's a stud. This guy was holding out on us. I can't yeah. believe it. <laughs> holding out, dude. So now it's time to tell the truth. Oh, jeez. Fire. Did you get him? Oh, yeah. Did you really? <laughs> Did you get him? Oh, no, You're holding out on your own <laughs> oh, no. Are you yeah, kidding dude? me? Freaking fire bull, dude. Really? Look at that, dude. Shut up. Look. You got the shot? We'll see. Dude, shut Josh. up. Josh. <laughs> dude, you guys had a heck of a night. Right in the shoulder, dude. Mm -hmm. Does he go down? No. 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 After a long day of searching for Firebull, we knew he was still alive, but we could never catch up to him for a second shot. It began to sink in that I blew my chance at this amazing bull. But that didn't keep me from sitting in the same blind the following night. We saw this gray bull but he was not the bull I was looking for. After heading home for five days, I was able to clear my mind and refocus my energy on the fire bowl. Bacon and egg. Five. One scoop, look at that. Nothing beats breakfast on the mountain. Except breakfast without the rain. Uh, that'd be better, but <laughs> everything tastes better up here. I don't know why. Probably because all the dirt. Evening hunt, and I go back into my blind. My lucky spot. And uh, bulls are bugling a little bit, so I'm just going to sit there, be patient, hope for the best. It's uh, that transition period pre-rut where everything starts to change. So we're just trying to relocate the big bulls and get hot on our tracks and try to hunt one down. But I'm gonna sneak into the blind, get set up, and hope the big boy steps out tonight. So wish me luck. Well, I just got to my blind and uh, I'm hunting solo, of course. This is how I got everything set up. Right here, got access to my binos, rangefinder, head camera. Tripod. 
I cannot believe what's happening right now. Fireball is out in the meadow again. I'm in the same line. That was unbelievable. Same exact scenario. He ran in the same exact spot. <laughs> this has been unreal. This has been the craziest, craziest hunt. I was told to never come back and sit this meadow. That's why he come back. Yes. <sighs> Smack. this is this real yes. <sighs> this you can't believe that huh you cannot believe it right now neither can I I cannot believe it it came out exactly like he did last time Everything was exactly the same. He ran off in the same trail. There's blood everywhere. Coming out both sides, man. Yes, yes. I'm telling you what, if you wanna hunt, get paid off, be persistent. Who cares what people say? Go back. He was just fine, walking around just fine. I arrowed him a week and a half ago. He's in the same meadow. I did it. Just, just, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He has to die. If that bull does not die, I'll hunt him again. I'll be right back here next week. Yes. Can't wait to tell Garrett. Well, I'll just show these guys a video. Freaking unreal, dude. I can't I can't believe it, man. Eric came and sat back in his same meadow and just killed the same bull that he shot a week and a, a half, half ago. Half Hit ago. it right in the shoulder. Bull comes in the same meadow and I just watched the video and I, I'm shaking. Man, I'm, I'm ups and downs, dude. I'm not kidding. But uh, we tracked the bull quite a ways. These guys were nice enough to come in here and use their lights and help us, but we can hear him down at the bottom of the creek bed, just kind of kicking around. So he's still, he's still alive right now. Good amount of blood, not a ton, but I think he'll kick over tonight. Well, this is where we left last night, and we could hear a lot of kicking around down at the bottom. So we're going loaded, hoping for the best, but prepared for the worst. Let's go. I'm not kidding. The 
this thing took almost the exact same path he's heading home, which is on this hill, but I don't think he made it this time. Just a little scar, a triple blade, man. At least my blade's open. Holy cow, look at the mass. Look at that. <laughs> That's what you call pomade, man. Holy cow. Um, yeah. These are not really going to fight down on this side. That, is, that just does not happen. You did not get second chance like that, kind of like it. 